Libras. This will be a love luster loss for Libras, I mean rising and Venus. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for so much support. I love that you guys like, comment, and share my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending out light and love to each and every one of you guys on you guys' journey. Okay, love, lust, or loss for Leos. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, not Leos. You could be done with Leo, but for Libras. <laughs> um, Libras, I'm feeling like, okay. Oh, first, you guys, I'm going to pull a Archangel Oracle deck message for you guys. Just some extra messages, okay? A uh, healthy lifestyle flipped over, okay? I'm feeling like there's a need for you guys to change the way you guys are eating, okay? Maybe exercise more, get more sleep. Okay, Leos. I mean, Jesus, Libras. I'm so sorry. This is definitely a Libra reading. Libra, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You could definitely, a Leo definitely could be in your energy. Okay? A Leo could definitely be thinking about you guys heavy. That's why I keep saying it. Okay? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, please give me clearly any messages for Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, Libra, at the bottom of the deck, you have Hello from Heaven. It says, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worry and feel their loving blessings, okay? Let go of your worries, Libras. Okay, you could definitely be going through a lot of stress right now. With this Mercury retrograde, I'm feeling like that you guys are going through a lot of heavy moments, heavy periods, I should say, um, due to this uh, full moon in Pisces. Now, you guys are definitely in your feelings, okay? It's a lot of Libras that could be in their feelings right now, okay? They are worried about a situation, worried if things are going to work out. You could be worried about uh, your home, just worried about your foundation, maybe worried about money. You need to let that go because you guys are fine. And your um, ancestors and angels and guides, you know, they're all guiding you in the right direction. You are in the right. You're on your path. You're on the right path. So keep going. Okay. Do not get discouraged. Okay, Libras. All right. Let's see what your message is. Okay. So they gave me two messages. All right. Wow. Lib Libras. You have <laughs> Archangel Michael says you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guiding, guarding you and your loved ones and home. Like I said, Libras, you guys are worried about something. You guys need to understand you are safe, okay? Nothing is going to happen. Nothing bad is going to happen at all. Anything or anybody that is in your life right now or coming in your life that to help, Archangel Michael is checking them at the door. So don't think that anybody are, is going to get past this wonderful angel, Archangel right here. Nobody is going to get past him at all. Archangel Michael, will it will not happen. He is If he's protecting you, trust and believe you are safe. Okay, Libras? Best, best believe that, okay? And Libras, the other card that came out was take back your power, okay? It says use your God-giving Use your God-giving power and intuition to manifest blessings in your life, okay? Take back your power. You are giving your power away by worrying about a situation. Take that power back and exchange it into loving, high, higher vibrations, loving vibes. This is what you need to do, Libras. Take back your power. You're safe. It's okay. Stop worrying, Libras. You're going to get that home. You're going to get that job. You're going to get that money. You're going to get that man. You're going to get that girl. Whoever, whatever you're worrying about, Libras, that is all BS, okay? Because guess what? And you're worried because you have the bottom of the deck. You have passion. It says trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career, Libra. Like, I really, listen, I told you guys, like, I can't make none of this up at all. Understand that this this is a heavy thing here. This is big. Okay. Oh my gosh. And behind that, could be done with a Sagittarius, but behind that you have peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Only remember that love is real. Don't worry like, oh my gosh, this person didn't call me back. Or oh my gosh, I don't know. Did I mess up and say something wrong? Listen, no, you didn't. Stop worrying. This person or 
whoever is has sparked that that renewed found love or feeling that you are feeling right now that new passion whatever you're going towards your career your money whatever job you're applying for keep that in your mind that you got this you're going to get that job you're going to get it it's yours already okay it's yours libra can't nobody take nothing away from you that's yours and archangel michael is protecting for you okay now put a pin that put a pin in that and remember that okay you guys all right libras let's go to your romance angel deck okay let's see what this your romance angel card is saying, okay let's see Engagement is at the bottom of the deck as I'm shuffling, okay? Unrequited love fell out, okay? Maybe this is, for some Libras, you could be going through a situation where it's so, um, that you could have been in an unrequited love situation with, um, uh, hearing a Leo. And that situation is being worked out in your favor, okay? So have faith. Right, you're loving yourself first, and that is beautiful, Libras. I am awesome. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, you guys. You guys rock. I love Libras. <laughs> I do. Sending light and love to you guys, definitely. Okay, there's definitely someone in your energy that you are need, you're getting to know, but you need to stay optimistic, okay? Stay optimistic, because this situation is going to work out in your favor. That home that you were worried about, am I going to get? You're going to get it, Libra. Don't you dare think. Don't you dare think twice, okay? It's yours, Libra. Sun rising and Venus. The bottom of the deck. Wow, wedding. This situation involves marriage, okay? So you could be married. You could have been married to someone here, okay? That you freed yourself from. That you had children with, okay? This person could definitely be a soulmate. And it could definitely be coming back around, all right? But there's a need for you to keep an open mind, okay? When this person come back around, because maybe I feel like Libras are still a little tense. That negative energy is giving your power away. If you're still upset about what someone did to you or broke your heart, Libras, a while ago, that ex that did this to you that made you feel less than, you need to understand, you need to let that energy go. Because that's, uh, that's blocking your blessings. Let that energy go so the blessings can flow. Flow with the, ever, the natural current. Stop going against it, okay? Now, your love messages for Libras. All right, Libras. <laughs> oh my gosh, Libras. <laughs> wow, bottom of the deck. What did I say you had to do? Release your ex. The time has come to clear that energy, okay? Everybody is not going to do what your ex did. Release that burden, okay? Because you have a soulmate in your midst. A soulmate, yes. This person that is around you is a soulmate. And you are needing to trust this. Let your friends help. Trust that the situation is going to work out. Okay. The card that flipped out for you guys was, it is safe for you to love. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energies of all. Like, wow. Huh. Wow, 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 Libras. You guys are something else. So, whatever person that is in your energy, it's safe for you to love that person. Okay? It's safe for you to open up to that person. Whoever restored your newfound love or energy or whatever that person is, whatever that job is, it's safe for you to love it. It's safe because it was it's protected. It is protected, Libras. Yeah, you have a new offer coming in here. And it's coming in here. It's a truthful offer. With a soulmate, okay? Like Libras. Could be dealing with another air sign. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to get your Ten of Cups here, okay? Ten of Cups is here for Libras. It's a wish fulfillment. It's definitely something you've been wishing for. Wanting. Whatever you've been wishing and wanting. You need to let it come in, okay? You have a brand new passionate creative endeavor happening now, okay? Something brand new is happening. You have a new spark of a new idea, a new person. Libras, my guess, Libras, I love this energy. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, you guys. Yes. 
Wow, King, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Libra. Love, Lester, Loss for Libra. Eight of Cups. Wow. So definitely, you you are needing to walk away from something. Or you have walked away. You have walked away from someone or someone has walked away from you. You could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Because behind that is the tower. Okay. You had a tower moment. Okay, recently here yep you told somebody I'm moving away I'm, I'm missing out I'm missing this opportunity waiting for my wish fulfillment okay or a person that you walked away from could have been a wish fulfillment okay Libras now love bless the loss how are you feeling about the person that's currently in your energy Libras how are you feeling here Ooh, Ten of Swords, Libra. So, you are feeling like someone has backstabbed and betrayed you. Okay? Yep, that's why you moved away. Because maybe somebody moved away from you and left you out in the cold. You're feeling backstabbed and betrayed here. You're needing to use your intuition about this fire sign. Okay? Because they're wanting to re resurrect. They want to come back around. They want to come back around. Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign, like I said, Leo, Aries, or Sage. That Leo that I said in the beginning, the one that kept saying, yeah, because he's here, right in this deck right here. And he wants to resurrect here. He's going to communicate with you and offer you a relationship. Oh, my gosh, yes, and they go to Leo card. Listen, so Libras, your soulmate, some of you guys, Libras, soulmates, is a Leo. Okay, and this person has hurt you in the worst way. Okay, but I feel like you have took it back your power. Okay, yep. When this person come back around, it's safe for you to love this person. I know, I know, I know. You're like, what? No, the fuck I'm not. Fuck her or him. <laughs> I get it. Trust me because I know they did some fucked up shit. I get it. But you're in the Ten of Swords right now. Okay, you still feel backstabbed to betray. You still feel defensive towards this person. Okay. How does they how do they feel about you, Libra? How do they feel about Libras? How does the person connecting the Libra feel about them? Hermit. Yeah, you guys aren't talking. But they want to apologize with the night with the knight of cups at the bottom. They want to apologize and reinvest, but this is what the energy they are in. They could be dealing with a Virgo. But this person that is in hermit mode, they have went within. They really have looked at the situation. And this is what's going on. They want a new beginning here. And they want to apologize to you. And because they, they love you with the Knight of Cups. This person wants to reinvest here. They know they did some fucked up shit. The Five of Swords to the Three of Swords. But listen, they are ready to work on it. They're ready to put the work in that they need to. To come back around to you. Yeah, they really went. They really went within. That that lantern has a star in it. Okay, they're clear about their feelings and emotions now. That lantern has a star in it, and they want a brand new beginning with you. Okay, divine timing is at work with this person. So, honey, whether you like it or not, Libras, this Virgo or this person that's in hermit mode um, definitely wants to come back around. They even though it's they're not talking right now, they do. They want to apologize. They're going with Finn thinking like, how can I come in and apologize to Libra? Okay. Let's see the outcome of the situation. What's the outcome of the situation, please, for Libra? Wow. The nine of wands in the reverse. So you guys are going to put down the swords, put down the knives, put down the guns. And let your guard down. So you're going to let your guard down. Let this person in. Yep. You're going to need to let your guard down. Make this decision here with the two of, two of uh, swords. Okay. Make a decision here. Because this person is not. They don't have their guard up. They want you to put your guard down. Put it down. Make a decision to put the guard down. Okay. Because you laid something to rest with a person. That was moving too slow. You know. This is definitely, or a person that was moving. Yeah, because you wanted to marry this person, I'm feeling like. That's why wedding was there. You wanted to get married. Maybe this person didn't. They weren't ready. But I feel like this fire sign, like I said, a Leo, Aries, or a Sag, is going within, you know. 
And they're like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead on and do it. So Libras, this person is definitely coming back around. Okay. So love, lust, or loss. This is definitely love. Definitely. Because you guys are going to become unguarded again. You're going to let this person back in. I'm going to clarify that nine of wands real quick. So just to see what's going on. I'm newsy. <laughs> Let's see what this person is going with in about. Let's see what this nine of wands is. Nine of wands for Libra, please. Thank you. Nine of wands for Libra. Summarize it. Yes. Yeah, this person is just waiting for the right time. Nine of wands in the reverse for Libra. Wow. What the, what the fuck, Libra? The world. Leo, Taurus, Aries, and a Scorpio. Okay? Nine of Wands. This person is is in that cycle of being guarded. Yep. Wow. Mother freaker. This is a faded event. Okay? Will of Fortune and Judgment is coming. This is Judgment coming back around. Okay? Judgment. Resurrection of a situation. What is this Hermit part? They go within about hermit for Libra. <laughs> wow. The death card in the reverse. Other Libras, this could definitely be a loss for other Libras just by that death card being there. Because maybe this person hasn't changed. Or maybe even though this person has gone within about a situation. I'm feeling like, yeah, this person doesn't want to walk away either. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse. But I'm feeling like they didn't want you to walk away. This person is definitely willing to put up the fight for you. So, yeah, this is definitely love. Some Libras, it could be a loss. But for others, most majority, no, this is definitely love. Okay, for sure. This is definitely love for majority of Libras because they're telling you it's safe for you to love and take back your power of not thinking it's safe for you to love because whoever is coming in towards you, it is safe because they, you are protected. Okay, that cycle of anything that you have been through is, is over. You guys are about to go into a brand new cycle where you don't have to be guarded anymore towards this person. Okay, Libras, I hope these, I hope I didn't confuse you guys at all. And, um, I hope these messages resonated with you guys. Um, uh, make sure you guys leave your comments. I uh, very much appreciate them. And if this resonates with you, thank you for sharing. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.